So let's talk about one of the ways that you can loop in PHP called the do while loop. So this is a little bit different than the other loops and the main difference in a do while loop is that it will, it will run at least once. So with the other loops, they check to see if the condition is true or false. If the condition is false, then it simply gets skipped over. It's kind of almost like an if statement. If this is true, then, then do the loop. If it's false, don't do anything. What happens with the do while loop is you say do, you give the code to run, and then at the end of it you say while the condition, right? So while the condition is true, continue to loop. Well by putting the while at the end, what that means is the code will run at least once. So if you want to make sure it'll run at least once for some reason, you would use a do while loop versus a while or a for loop. So with that, let's go over to the computer so I can show you how this works. So this is a simple script that I created called do while.php to show you what a do while look loop looks like. And basically, if you look at a do while loop, it almost looks like a while loop in reverse, which essentially is what it is. The important difference between the do while versus the other loops is that this will run at least once. So again, uh, we start with a PHP tag, and then we're going to create our variable. So we have a variable we create called dollar sign $x. We are going to then set the value of the variable to 1, and then close with a semicolon. Then down here, what we're going to do is we're going to say do, and then we're going to go straight to the squiggly brackets. Again, straight to the squiggly brackets, so we are going to run this at least once. And then for here, what we're going to say is we're going to say print hello, uh, time number x, so basically saying however many times we've said hello. And then what we're going to do is we're going to print the HTML break, so this will break to another line when it runs. And then at the end, again, we're going to do the incrementation up. So we're going to say dollar sign $x++. Plus plus. So what this does is it takes the value of x, it adds 1 to the value of x, and then it sets the value of x to what that is. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. x is now equal to 2. 2 plus, three, uh, two plus 1 equals 3. So now x equals 3. And so it keeps auto-incrementing up that way. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to close the squiggly brackets. So everything between the squiggly brackets are going to be done. And then we say while parentheses dollar sign $x is less than or equal to 10 close parentheses, semicolon. And so this is what the do while loop looks like. And again, relatively pretty simple. Uh, then at the end, we close the PHP tag, and that's all there is to it. If we go over to the browser, do this, we go to do while, and then we can see hello time number one, hello time number two, hello time number three, four, five, so on and so forth. So again, if we go here and we change the value of x, to let's say seven, we hit file, save. We then upload, and then we refresh. Then we see it'll go, it'll start at seven. Hello time number seven, eight, nine, 10, it keeps going. Now the important thing to understand about the do while loops though, is what if we set this to 80? So we set this really high. So this is obviously above 10. So 10 is greater then, uh, or 80 is greater than 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to save, and then we're going to upload, and then we will do refresh, and see now it says hello time number 80. So it goes through that set of code once, but then when it hits the while, it fails out there, and so it won't continue. So this right here, this is the big difference between the while, the for, and the do while loop. The do while will run the code at least once. So that's all there is to do while loops. Again, one of the problems you can run into is uh, people forget the, the auto incrementation. And so you can have a loop that just keeps going and going and going and going and going. Or you can run into a problem where if you're not thinking about it and you use a do while loop where you really should use a while or a for loop, again, it will run at least once. This can be a real problem. Let's say if you're printing out reports, if you're doing something. This is where, you know, sometimes you, you open up a report on a web page and then you kind of get like a 
random you get like a random record so you think you're supposed to get 20 records about something or 30 records about something and instead you just get like one random record at the top the reason for that is for some reason the person used a do while loop and so it will go through so even if the conditions the previous conditions aren't true or shouldn't output something for you uh, it will it will output that information just because it has to output something once and so enough things were true it's able to output basically this garbage to you once and then you sit there scratching your head thinking wait a minute i thought i was supposed to get 50 records here and instead i'm getting a single random record what is that the reason is they use a do while loop and it's giving you something because that's that that's what a do while loop does it says give something run the code and then uh and then check to see on the condition and so that's one of the reasons why you can run into issues with do while loops so that's what a do while loop is and that's why it matters